Hi, I'm Bob with Metsa Machines, and today we have a new product announcement for you guys. Uh, a while back, you may remember a video where we talked about what was going to be new for 2023, and we sort of alluded to having a new product, and we kind of hid these around in other videos you may have seen and wondered what was that thing. So today I'm going to tell you what it is. These are Violon vehicles from Finland. Uh, these, as you can see, can be a snowmobile or a wheeler, and they use the same frame. It's a really cool piece of equipment that is utility-minded. utility, utility minded. Um, They're made for getting into tight areas that you normally wouldn't be able to get into with, let's say, a full-size ATV or a full-size snowmobile. Uh, there's going to be a lot of cool features that we go over in the next few weeks with other videos, but I'll give you a basic rundown today of, of what we're looking at here. So right here, this is called the snow. This is the, the snow machine, okay? So this has, uh, they, they all come standard with the Honda GX engine on them, a Honda GX 200 with battery electric start. And this has got the short track on it. You can see the skis. There's uh, some, some spring-loaded suspension in the bottom of the skis. And you've got the nice seat. And um, the, the ergonomics of it is, is really nice when you're sitting on it and, and actually riding it. But the coolest part about it is the fact that it disassembles in about five to 10 minutes, and you can fit it in the back of a regular SUV. So you've got multiple components for the frames, and uh, you got front frame, rear frame, and then the steering shaft drops down, the skis pop off of it, and the track comes off, and the engine comes off the track as well. So that aspect of it has been really helpful for people that are trying to get to tight places, and they don't wanna pull a trailer with a snowmobile on it. Uh, you can fit this in the bed of a pickup truck, or like I said, in the back of an SUV. A lot of places that have been using these are ice fishermen, uh, people that are doing like maple syrup, that, that type of stuff where they got to go through narrow places in the woods where there aren't necessarily trails. And uh, uh, environmental agencies are using them too for, for sampling different things. But one of the other really good points of this machine, with it being as compact as it is and as lightweight as it is, the ground pressure is really low on it. So this machine could sit on top of three foot of powder snow and, and drive, you, you could stay right on top of that snow. That also, you're getting places that you would not be able to get with a full-size snowmobile. Over here, we have the Violent Vehicle set up as a wheeler. And what's cool about this, again, is that you can buy, you can start by buying the snow, and then, say you, you've used the snow all winter, and then it's springtime and it's summertime, you're like, you know, I really want to still use this thing. I'm going to get the front wheels. And you can get the front wheels for it, and you can still use the track to ride around. And in fact, the track is nice for pulling things, pulling things around in the woods if, you, if you've got muddy areas and things like that. But if you want a full-on wheeler, then you can remove the track and you can get the wheeler conversion kit, which comes with the transmission and the rear wheels. Now, the Violon Snow and the Snow Plus do not have reverse. They only have forward, but the wheeler has forward, neutral, and reverse. So you can back up with this as well. Something that's standard on all of the, all of the Violon vehicles, you'll see... The, the basic controls up on the handle here. We've got our power switch, we've got headlights, we've got horn, over here we've got hydraulic brake, which has an adjustment on it for how much pressure or how much throw you have before the brakes start to engage, so that's really nice. And also there is a safety tether as well, which is important because it is uh, an all-terrain vehicle and if you get into a situation where you're too tippy, uh, you know, you're pushing your limits, if you step away from the vehicle, you will pull off that tether and the vehicle will shut off. All right, so for this assembly of these things and reassembly, uh, when you go from, like, let's say, like storage or transport, it's toolless. You have a, a few large hand screws and then there's, a, there's two small thumb screws on the back end of it. One thing to note is on the wheeler for disassembly or for breaking it down for transport, you will have to remove at least one bolt and nut. If you want to completely disassemble it to switch from wheeler to snow, you're gonna to have to remove the cross brace that has four bolts and nuts. If you're gonna get just the snow machine, you can collapse this thing pretty small and put it up on a shelf out of the way, out of sight, out of mind until next season if you need to store it. So right now, the one that I'm sitting on, I would call a hybrid, a hybrid of the two. Basically you have, this was a snow plus, so you've got the long snow track on it, and then we've got the front hubs and wheels that would be on, say, the wheeler, the wheeler package. And this does look a little strange, but it works really well. Right now we've got kind of swampy area out here, mud, 
Um, we're in between, we're in between snow season and wheeler season, in my opinion. And what we're going to do is we're going to use this thing to uh, do some work around the yard, pull some stuff out of the woods. And um, the track actually works really nice for that. And being that these things have a top speed of let's, I want to say it's between 14 and 16 miles an hour, you know, you're not going to do damage to the track by using it in this setting. And this is actually our, this is the prototype unit that we got um, a little over a year ago. So we've had some time with this and um, we haven't made everything public yet, but now today's the day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. In the next few weeks, we are going to do videos that let the machines speak for themselves. So you're going to see a lot of different things that, that we can do with these machines at our facility here in Wisconsin. And our first dealer is already, already signed up and has units in stock. That is Powerhouse Lawn and Leisure in Merrill, Wisconsin. And if there's something specific that you want to know about these machines or you want to see them do, uh, let us know. Let us know in the comments section. Send us an email, info at metzamachines.com.